We all know what Wi-Fi is. That is, unless I succeeded and you're watching this within my brand new regime. Nothing's allowed there except beautiful woman and good times. And Mr. Carson YouTube channel. But yeah, like I said, we all know what Wi-Fi is. Magical rays of condensed energy barreling through space, going thousands of miles in every direction and somehow arriving in our living rooms just so we can load up the Fart Kink website for the third time that evening. It's slowly become a necessity in the past 20 years. Something that if we don't have, we start to find meaningless hobbies. I think I'll pick up crochet. No, no, you inbred idiot. Wait for the goddamn Wi-Fi to come back up. You'll be far more entertained with Amazon Prime Video's Invincible, which was phenomenal, by the way. Anyway, I think it's more than fair to say that without Wi-Fi, we are fucked. Whether it's for work or for keeping back the urge to learn how to knit, you need Wi-Fi. Luckily, I don't have a job other than this, but do I really care about this <laughs> <laughs> what I really care about is my vine. If I can't get onto my vine to produce funny content, then I fucking freak. And that's exactly what happened May 3rd to 4th, 2021. The Dark Ages. So a little background, I have Cox Communications, just like every other normal Joe on the planet. Cox provides my household its Wi-Fi, and like you can probably guess, May 3rd to the 4th the Wi-Fi was turned off. Just so I, Carson could rot. Now, right now, May 5th, the time I'm writing this, I have Wi-Fi again. Thank fuck. How else would I have watched Invincible on Amazon Prime Video? But when the Wi-Fi was down, I was actually writing the rough draft of the script in my notes app. Here's what that looks like being Wi-Fi-less. I made a suck my cock. Cock, cocks joke, which, uh... I don't really know where my class went, I might have lost my mind. But back on track, the Wi-Fi was out for 3 hours May 3rd and 3 hours May 4th. I missed half of 2nd period and all of 4th period just because I didn't have invisible waves bouncing around my home. I live in an area with no cellular data either, so I was kind of fucked. Now, it would be fine if this was just a one-time occurrence, like, you know, they were doing maintenance or something, but these shutdowns happen quite frequently, at least where I live. At least two times a month, I'm without Wi-Fi as Cox is fed grapes by all of the cuckolds who bought their services. And somehow, for once, I'm not the only guy who's pissed off. There's a whole ass website called cocksucks.com filled with people just like me. People with a burning rage that can only be calmed by bloodshed. 1,101 people who happened to stumble on this website decided to comment and complain about Cox as well. It's funny because it actually kind of looks like a legit website. Like, there might be a tight-knit community who are frequent visitors or something. The website doesn't just talk about Cox either. It's got, like, the main companies that piss off old people. I'm not an old geezer, but I do love to get mad at technology and forget what pills I took. But yeah, people primarily like to talk about how shitty the customer service is, how shitty the actual Wi-Fi is, and my issue, the frequent outages. All of these things are constant issues with Cox. There's always something to be pissed about, and there's nothing we can do. It's basically the service with the most coverage where I live, meaning it's pretty much the only way to go internet-wise. Everybody I know has Cox come. Unications. It makes it real hard to make videos when their ass Wi-Fi is down, but there's nothing I can do. Luckily, it only goes out like once or twice a month, if at all. But you'd think when paying so much for Wi-Fi, you'd get something that functions at the very least. I was so anxious. Oh. Sorry guys, that was my teacher. <laughs> I nearly had a heart attack, holy shit. <laughs> I was so anxious because I had to work on a video, and bored without Wi-Fi, I was watching the same four preloaded TikToks from before the Wi-Fi was down, over and over again. Of course I got footage of that, here it is. Fred, get your money, man, like those no, I'm not hopeful, yeah. <laughs> Fred, get your money, man, like those no, I'm not hopeful, yeah. Fred, get your money. It was like a more pathetic Groundhog Day. Losing the Wi-Fi for so long this time has made me realize how much I depend on it. I need it for school, for videos, for entertainment, for talking to friends, everything. So when Cox holds my whole world in the palm of its greasy fucking hand, it's really upsetting. Fucking terrible company. Ooh, it's really hard to provide Wi-Fi for almost everybody. Shut the fuck up! Get your shit together and start making daddy happy for once. Or I'll start a new website called Vague Threats Toward Cox Communications. Huh? Huh? How would you like that? I was gonna give Cox the old what for over the telly, but in California there are two party consent laws, which means I would have to ask if I can record them for a YouTube video. Hi, yes, this is Mr. Carson. <laughs> no, no, a YouTuber. I was wondering if I could use this call in the same video that mentions fart kink porn. Hello? 
Hello? Anyway, fuck the law. I'm gonna use their shitty Wi-Fi to upload a video of me hating on their shitty Wi-Fi. By the way, it's been very difficult to stay focused recently. I have self-diagnosed ADHD, anxiety, depression, and hemorrhoids. I need to get a real job or something. I have like $45 in my savings account, and I saw a real cool Nerf gun at Target, so I might be pretty broke soon. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you all a heads up if I start posting less. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I really appreciate anybody who thinks this shit is watchable. I don't, but I'm not your fucking mom, so I, I don't know. Have a good one!